Hello everybody, Lurgs here, welcome to my channel and today it's curtains for you and me and it's how to fit a tension rod net curtain pole so you can hang some net curtains or voiles and I think I'll leave the jokes to the professionals, I need to pull myself together all you're going to need today is a tape measure and your credit card or some cash but before we get started let's have a lovely cup of tea First of all, you need to measure the width of your window. So take a tape measure. If your window is completely uniform all the way around, it should be the same width at the top and the bottom. When you order your net curtains, you want them to crease. So you need to order them twice the size of the width of your window. And this one is coming out at 153 centimeters, which means that we need to order a net curtain that is 300 centimeters wide. And then just measure the drops, you know the length of the net curtains. And this is the tension rod that I've just bought. Now make sure you get one that is much larger than your actual window. So this one fits a window width of 126 to 232 centimetres. And remember that the width of our window is 153 centimetres. Take out the tension rod from the packet. And then just start unscrewing it outwards. and then offer it up to the width of your window and keep unscrewing it until it goes about three to five centimeters beyond the width of your window. And as we're on the subject of curtains, there's a link above now about how to keep your curtains super smooth on their curtain rails. That is a top tip, really useful. Now, before we fit it, remember to put your neck curtains over the tension rod. Now these tension rods are good for carrying net curtains. They're not much good if you're going to be hanging curtains because they'll be too heavy. But net curtains are absolutely fine because there's literally hardly any weight to them. So just feed that onto your net curtain rod. And remember earlier you order a net curtain that is twice the width of your window just so it bunches up nice. Then make sure your tension rod is three to five centimeters beyond the width of the window. And then the tension is taken up by pushing it in. If you're struggling to reach, use a step ladder. So push it in and then push it upwards. And then the spring loaded mechanism inside keeps it absolutely rigid at the top of the window. Now what I like about these tension rods is they're so simple because if you use wire you normally have to screw some hooks into your UPVC window frames and that is not great. And these are nice and simple to fit. I'm just adjusting the neck curtains here just so that they're nice and uniform all the way across. That the bunching looks all nice and neat and tidy. I do like working on the net. Curtains. I'll tell you what, I'm pretty pleased with that. That's a big thumbs up from me. And this is what the net curtain tension rod looks like with the net curtains on from the inside, all looking really good. And then we'll go outside and I'll show you what the net curtain looks like from the outside. And I've also fitted some curtains and a curtain rail as well. And this is what they look like from outside. So with the net curtains, you get lots of privacy. Even if you put your nose right up to the window, you cannot see inside. Unless, of course, someone inside has turned the light on and it's dark outside. There's a link up on the top left about how to keep your curtains super smooth on the curtain rails. That is a top tip. And on the top right hand side, there's a link on how to keep your washing machine hygienically fresh. 